Thank you for calling Excalibur. Please hold. Sorry to keep you holding. If you're still holding, maybe you aren't the true King of Britain? I'm sorry, no one's available to take your call right now. We're all having tea and biscuits. Thank you for calling the Tower of London. To talk to a beef eater, press one. To talk to a beekeeper, please redial someone who keeps bees. To talk to a traitor, don't press a button. No one talks to their traitors. To find out what happened to Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard, go online to slash slash fathenry.com. I'm sorry, I'm having difficulty understanding you. You have a terrible accent. While you're waiting to talk to one of our operators, have you considered reading a book? Solitaire passes the time. Animal Crossing? Thank you for calling MI6. To speak to an agent, go to Paris, check into the Georges V, and order a vodka martini in a very sultry voice. I'm sorry, I'm having difficulty understanding you. Please hold while I transfer you to a real person who can understand your mumbling. Your call is important to us, although obviously not that important, otherwise we'd be employing more people to answer the phone, wouldn't we? If you know the extension of the person you're calling, then please call it a conservatory. They get really upset if you call it an extension. Thank you for calling us. For sales, press 1. For technical support, press 2. For billing, press 3. For information about our company, press 4. For our employee directory, press 5. For customer service, press 6. For our regular business hours, press 7. For our location, press 8. Or if you're still on the line having waited this long to actually speak to a person, press 